for rookie this year. A special thanks to Josh Lundy and Ronnie Robinson. This Kurt Nicewanger. Outside the next row, second time back at the Rockford Speedway. Sponsored by Bags, Southside Speed Shop in the 36, it's Brandon Ish. On the side of Brandon Ish, in the light blue, gray, pink, sponsored by Fairburn Automotive, number 89 machine, this is Steve Sawyer. Outside of him, sponsored by Slate Construction, also a special cancer awareness to Susie. In the 18 car, this is Evan Leahy. Have you told her who she is? No. I didn't. That's, that's the last of the team. Okay. All right. You didn't. Okay. I got to pause this just for a minute. As we are drive talking with the drivers, I need to come over here with you. Young lady, what is your name? My name is Edith Deary Sankey. And you are one of the Deary's. Congratulations. The original. The You're last surviving. Yes, I am. What's one great memory about your, your brother Hugh that is a favorite memory of yours? Oh, you know, he made me do everything. <laughs> did, did you run the Rockford Speedway here too? He, may, he would make me do things that I didn't want to do because he thought I should. All right. And what would you say to all these drivers here tonight? Good luck. Great racing. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. On the inside, in the 92 car, sponsored by Morningwood Tree Service, this is Bullet Bobby Frisch. On the outside in the next row is a points leader coming into tonight, sponsored by Ryan Coon Trucking. He's your 2019 track champion. This is Johnny Robinson. On the inside, sponsored by Richie Smoke and Barbecue and the Last Lap Bar. This is the brother of Johnny Robinson. This is Tant Robinson. Moving up to the front half of the field. Out of Byron, Illinois, sponsored by Byron Auto Body. This nice looking 71 machine, this is Patrick Featherston. On the inside of Patrick Featherston, sponsored by Nason's Landscaping and Richie Smoke and Barbecue, is the 36 of Howie Ware. Boo, are you kidding me? All right. Outside the next row, out of Durand, Illinois, sponsored by Bobby's On the Spot in O'Connor's Heating and Cooling, this is Garrick Fry in the 96. And on the inside, the third brother of Terrence and Johnny Robinson, sponsored by Ryan Coon Trucking. He is the 2020 Sportsman Defending Track Champion. This is Trevor Robinson, Magic Shoes. With four cars remaining outside the next row in the green machine, the 47, sponsored by Byron Auto Body, this is John Featherston. On the inside of him, driving for his daughter, racing in memory of their angel, Scarlett Lundy, this is the 11 of Josh Lundy. And now the row you're all waiting for, the front row outside. We have a battle for the Rookie of the Year on this front row. On the outside, sponsored by Windsor Pizza Parlor, this is the 73 of Justin Wagner. Oh. Justin Wagner, sponsored by Shaver Insurance Company, also running for Rookie of the Year. This is the 017 car of Alex Weber. Let's give a big round of applause for all the drivers. And next time, bye. All right, lights of the car, corner, pace car are out. 
as Alex Weber and Justin Wagner, two, two drivers battling for Rookie of the Year, going to bring the field around for 50 laps. And they're going to pick up speed. Here they come. Great flag of a racing. Out of turn two they come. Battling for the lead. Out of four, Wagner has the edge. Wagner is your leader. John Featherston and Alex Weber gonna battle for second. Featherston's gonna go around Alex Weber. Here comes Garrick Fry. Patrick Featherston trying to get to the outside of Alex Weber. Alex Weber closes the door. And Featherston now right behind Weber. Josh Lundy on the inside of Johnny Robinson. They're right behind Patrick Featherston. Out of turn four they go. Featherston now battling Fry with Trevor Robinson right behind them. Around they go. Wagner, your leader. Garrick Fry now has second place. Trevor Robinson's gonna battle John Featherston for third. Featherston and Alex Weber, that's gonna be Patrick Featherston, they're gonna battle for fifth, going down into three and four with Johnny Robinson right behind them. Down the back stretch they go into turns three and four. No change in the top four positions. Patrick Featherston runs fifth, Johnny Robinson finds himself in sixth. Howie Ware looking to challenge Alex Weber now. They come Howie Ware and Alex Weber side by side. Eric Fry now putting the challenge for the lead against Justin Wagner. Four they come. Wagner on the outside, Fry on the inside. They're going to come around lap traffic because they're going to put down Kurt Nicewanger a lap. They'll be the first driver to go on a lap. Oh no, let's go. things got interesting as they were going into turns three and four with Alex Weber and Howie Ware. As the battle for the lead continues, it's going to be Garrick Fry and Justin Wagner side by side going into three and four. Patrick Featherston battling his cousin John Featherston out of three and four. That's going to be the battle for fourth. Down they go. Bob Hansberry started all the way in the back, made his way past the halfway part of the field as he's on the move. Brandon Ish also on the move in that 36 car. Now Trevor Robinson in the 88 is off the pace. of Alex Weber looks like he's got a flat tire he's gonna pull off into the pits in the meanwhile Justin Wagner was able to pull away from Garrick Fry as he's right behind him here comes Patrick Featherston for third the battles for fourth between John Featherston and Johnny Robinson around they go down the back stretch the battle for the lead continues the battle for fourth Johnny Robinson and John Featherston make contact there, looks like in the front stretch. Now Robinson has the edge over John Featherston just by a little bit, going into three and four. Howie Ware is getting around Bobby Frisch now. Bob 
Hansberry right on the back. Bumper of Johnny Robinson. Bob Hansberry finds himself into sixth. He's on the move. I should say that's Robert Hansberry Jr. Now Fry and Justin Wagner are going to continue to battle for the lead. Patrick Featherston sitting in third. Johnny Robinson in fourth. And now Robert Hansberry Jr. in fifth. He's going to battle. He's going to try to get around John Featherston. He does. And now he's looking to the inside of Johnny Robinson. 20 laps down. Five to go before we take that mandatory break. Brandon, Fe Brandon East trying to get around Josh Lundy. In the meanwhile, Wagner still your leader by a little bit. Eric Fry's racing him down the back stretch into three and four. And the battle for the lead will continue. Great race we have here, Rockford Speedway. A little bit of the edge on Justin Wagner coming out of turn two. And Derek Fry is going to take the lead from Justin Wagner. 24 laps complete of this 50 lap event. And we had a battle for third. They go. We're on lap 25 now. Justin Wagner having pressure from Patrick Featherston. Out they come. Yellow flag is out. And that's going to cause the 12 minute break that we're going to have. It's going to be a mandatory 12 minute break now once the last car gets off the track. Lights on the car, corner pace car are out. Garrick Fry is your leader. Justin Wagner and Johnny Robinson right behind him. They're going to pick up speed. Here they come. Great flag of a recent. Johnny Robinson in the Oh, we got a mess into turn two or turn one. And Kurt Nicewanger runs right into the back of Steve Sawyer. So we started out great in the first half. And not so great the second half. Steve Sawyer is able to drive away. Looks like the 36 of Brandon Ish, he's going to be able to drive away. Half of this huge G. Deary Classic 50 lap event for the Bargain Hunter Sportsman. All right, lights of the car corner, pace car are out. We are ready to go back racing. And they're going to pick up speed. Here they come. Great flag of a racing. And the restart, it looks like Patrick Featherston and Johnny Robinson not getting along too well, and the two of them make contact in one and two. And they're going to hit again, and Garrick Fry off the pace, and we got a mess going on. And now Patrick Featherston is your leader. Garrick Fry with all kinds of problems in that 96 car. 
Patrick Featherston, your leader. Howie Ware for second. Johnny Robinson for third. Robert Hansberry Jr. for fourth as he went to the inside of Johnny Robinson and had to drop back. Terrence Robinson and Trevor Robinson battling first position five. Here comes Bullet Bobby Frisch in the 92 car. Robinson on the inside of Bob Hansberry. Or excuse me, Robert Hansberry Jr. He's gonna pull away from him that time. Robert Hansberry Jr. now setting his sights on the 36 of Howie Ware. He's gonna go to the inside of him. Johnny Robinson, Trevor Robinson, and Bullet Bobby Frisch right behind those two. Robert Hansberry Jr. and Howie Ware side by side for lap 30. Your leader is Patrick Featherston. Now Robert Hansberry Jr. with the edge over Howie Ware. Going into one, coming out of two, it's still Hansberry. And he's got second place now. Ware will drop back to third. Johnny Robinson has fourth. We got a battle for fifth between Trevor Robinson and Bobby Frisch. Out of turn four. Trevor Robinson hanging on to fifth. Bobby Frisch keeping him on the inside. Trevor Robinson looking to challenge his brother Johnny now for fourth. Two Robinson brothers will continue to battle with Trevor on the inside, Johnny on the outside, everybody else is single file racing. Now Trevor's alongside his brother Johnny as they're gonna go into three and four and Robert Hansberry Jr. has caught Patrick Featherston. Robert Hansberry Jr. starts to look to the inside of Featherston. Down the back stretch they go. Robert Hansberry Jr. right there with Patrick Featherston. Around out of turn two they go. Down the back stretch. Battle for the lead will continue. And the battle for fourth will continue between two brothers. Hansberry trying to get the edge over Patrick Featherston. Featherston's right there, 39 down. Now Robert Hansberry has the edge over Patrick Featherston going into three and four. Featherston right there to battle right back and into one and two. Featherston still right there, the battle will continue. Nine laps to go this time by for Robert Hansberry and Patrick Featherston as we've got a battle for the lead. Now Hansberry Jr. trying to get the edge over Patrick Featherston. Not quite. The two of them make contact in three and four, and Robert Hansberry Jr. is now your leader. Patrick Featherston for second, Howie Ware for third, and Trevor Robinson's gonna get around his brother Johnny Robinson and he's gonna secure fourth place. And around goes Terrence Robinson in the 29. Terrence Robinson just kind of losing it there, going around. Nobody else collected with him, that's good. This is not <laughs> what Robert, Robert Hansberry Jr. wanted. This is exactly what Howie Ware wanted, Trevor Robinson wanted, as they're gonna have to reset Featherston. Lights in the car corner, pace car out. As Robert Hansberry Jr. gonna try to get it done with seven to go. They're entering the raw steel collision center restart zone. Green flag of our racing.
Trevor Robinson and Patrick Featherston gonna battle coming out of turn two. Robert Hansberry's gonna try to get away from him. Trevor Robinson and Patrick Featherston gonna continue to battle. Howie Rare right behind those two. Five to go this time by for Robert Hansberry Jr. And Evan Leahy spins out all by himself. I saw that happen as Evan Leahy was driving into three and four. So Evan Leahy just kind of spinning out there on his own. All right, lights of the car, quarter pace car out for Robert Hansberry Jr. They're now entering the Raw Steel Collision Center restart zone and great flag of our racing. Into turn one, Trevor Robinson immediately going to work on Patrick Featherston. He wants second. Into three out of four, they're still side by side. Out of one and two, the battle for second will continue. Bobby Frisch starting to look to the inside of Howie Ware. Oh, he gets into Howie Ware. Good save by Howie Ware. F36 car. Trevor Robinson going to the inside of Featherston again. Here we go, down the back stretch. Now Bobby Frisch is alongside of Howie Ware. And Bobby Frisch gets fourth place. Howie Ware goes back to fifth. Patrick Featherston's able to hold off Trevor Robinson that time. White flag out for Robert Hansberry Jr. Checkered flags coming out. Here comes your winner. It's going to be Robert Hansberry Jr. Patrick Featherston for second, Trevor Robinson for third, Bobby Frisch for fourth, and Howie Ware for fifth. All right, Trevor Robinson congratulating Robert Hansberry Jr. Sponsored by I Am Second. Right behind you. Quest Industrial, Red Barn Customs, GraceChurchNewGlarus.com, EZ Plumbing Company. As he's getting out, make some noise for the big winner of the Hugh G. Deary Classic 50-lap feature, it's Robert Hansberry Jr. Robert, come on over here. Welcome back. Damn, losing my spot. Move over. There we go. Welcome back to the Rockford Speedway. Glad to have you back here in the 2021 season. You know this track pretty well. Your dad used to race here a little. <laughs> um, this race tonight drove it real smooth. You had a lot of battles tonight. This was a hot race. This was really, really hot out here for you. Uh, let's talk about that race, though. Oh, I, I just got to start out with saying thanks to my family, my wife and kids. I picked them up this morning at the airport, and they let me do this race tonight. And My dad and my brother and my uncle got the car ready during the week. This wasn't even planned for this week, but we threw it out there, and glad we came and had a lot of fun. What does it mean to win? The Hugh G. Deary Classic 50 lap feature here on this special night. It's truly an honor. I see all the stuff the Deary family does for the racing community. And like, I, like you said, I grew up here. My dad raced here from 92 to the 2000s. And I, I was a little kid in the stands that always wanted to race here. And I, I'm glad we got to come tonight. 
Anybody else you want to thank, sir? Uh, thanks to the owners of the car, Don and Mary Wickstrom, and my in-laws for helping me all week and stuff with watching my daughter during the day so I could work at night and just making it all happen. Robert Hansberry, once again, congratulations. Make some noise one more time for tonight's Hugh G. Deary Classic 50-lap winner. It's Robert Hansberry, Jr.